Hello, our team recently released the TCAN 1042 and TCAN 1051 chokeless CAN FD transceiver family with industry leading EMC performance, which is one of the most important factors for automotive CAN transceiver applications. In this video, I'll talk about immunity to RF disturbances testing that is specified by the IEC 62132-4 standard and how Texas Instruments' new family of CAN transceivers perform compared to two leading competitor devices. The German OEMs chose this standard for conducted immunity testing and it is commonly referred to as DPI testing for direct power injection. While official third-party testing is performed at IBEE Zwickau, we've replicated the setup in-house to validate products during the development process. Immunity testing is important because OEMs need to be able to guarantee that electronic control units, or ECUs, that are in close proximity do not interfere with each other. By limiting the maximum emissions and requiring a minimum immunity performance of an ECU, it is possible to guarantee interoperability. The requirements document from the German OEMs have the following immunity requirement for all CAN transceivers. The units on the y-axis are dBm, which is a power measurement on a log scale, and the x-axis is frequency and covers 1 MHz to 1 GHz range. To be passing, the transceiver's performance must be at or above the red limit line. The pass-fail criteria for this type of immunity test is determined by placing a mask on an oscilloscope with an allowable time and voltage deviation. By applying a known TXD signal to one transceiver and monitoring the received RXD signal from another transceiver, you can determine if the noise present causes communication degradation. The left figure shows a normal RXD waveform without any signal degradation. The right figure shows an RXD waveform that has degraded to the point where it is now failing the mask. Using the same test board as the third party test house, which has three footprints for populating standard 8 pin CAN transceivers, a TXD input port, an RXD output port, and an RC coupling network for injecting RF noise, we have run a series of tests for different data rates modulation schemes, and coupling networks. As you can see, the TCAN 1042 passes the strict OEM requirements without the need for a common mode choke. The ability to remove the choke is an important distinction for the TCAN 1042, which allows designers to reduce component and placement costs if desired. Next, I tested two competitor devices to compare against the TCAN 1042. Here are the results of the immunity testing compared to competitor A, and competitor B, using the same testing methodology. In both cases, the TCAN 1042 outperforms the competitors with superior immunity performance. The new TCAN family is also qualified to operate in CAN FD systems using flexible data rates up to 5 megabits per second. Here you can see the results of immunity testing using 2 megabits per second CAN FD traffic, where again, the TCAN 1042 demonstrates compliance with strict immunity standards. In summary, noise immunity performance is an important characteristic of a CAN transceiver. The new TCAN 1042 and TCAN 1051 offer superior immunity performance under the most stringent testing when compared to competition. If you'd like more information about TI's new CAN transceiver products, then please visit us at ti.com can. Have a great day.